Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinocoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm doing the top 10 most underrated players in Madden 20. Now I just recently did the most uh, overrated players, the top 10 most overrated players. You guys showed a crazy support in that video so I want to say thank you guys very much. And if you guys can see any other videos like this, comment down below what other videos you guys would like to see me do. But today we've got the top 10 most underrated. Now what I mean by underrated of course is going to be players that play better than their price and play better than people that are more expensive at the same exact position. Now, of course, I did ask, uh, I asked over on Twitter and I got a lot of replies over there. I got like 30, 40, 50 uh, different players, a whole bunch of comments, but a lot of different players. So it was kind of narrowed down to 10, of course. I had my own list made up, but I, I looked at some of you guys' suggestions, switched some people out as well with this list. Now I've got players in this list that are 5,000 coins. I've got players that are 250,000 coins. It doesn't matter how much they are, as long as you, they play better than their stats, they play better than their price, and they play better than people at their own position that are more expensive. So comment down below. Now, there's a ton of players that are not me this list that some of you guys may feel underrated let me know down below let's get into it so starting off this list is going to be one of those guys that are 5,000 coins and that's Troy Apke as you guys can see he is 4,900 coins what's so good about Troy well he's a 78 overall free safety with 90 speed yeah he's got 90 speed if you guys use your free safety and you're rocking out like a no money spent team, yeah, you need to have Troy Apke on your team. 90 speed, 91 excel, he's got a 61 catching, his jumping as well is a 90. I mean, this is legit like uh, one of the best user cards in the game, and he's 5,000 coins. Not just one of the best overall underrated players, not one of the best user free safeties. One of the best user players in the entire game is 5,000 coins. Definitely check him out. Another extremely cheap player is going to be Marquise Brown. He's only 4,900 coins. If you guys have a no money spend team, 100% you need to have Marquise Brown on that team. He's got 91 speed. Uh, besides that, of course, his catch stats, it's not that great. But he's got 89 acceleration, 90 agility. When this card first came out as well, I mean, he was literally, I believe he was the fastest wide receiver in the game uh, at the time he came out. So he was a little bit more expensive. Now, of course, he's not the fastest in the game. But still, for 5,000 coins, he definitely can make some big time splash plays. 71 spin, 78 juke move. If you're playing people that don't have Deion Sanders, they don't have, you know, Troy Palomalu, Pat Tillman maxed out, those guys over the top. 91 speed can burn by a majority of safeties and a majority of cornerbacks in this game. So if you want to pick up Marquise Brown, just put him on some post routes, uh, put him on some streaks. Marquise Brown can definitely get it done. And although we already had one speedy wide receiver on this list, how do you not put McCole Hartman on this list? He has got 94 speed with 85 jump. He's going for 68K. Tyree Kill is about 500,000 coins, right? Now take a look at Tyree Kill versus Hartman. There's really not that big of a difference when it comes to their speed and excel. I mean, obviously, I have powered up, so really he's the same exact speed. The excel is the biggest difference. He does have three more acceleration for Tyree Kill. But if you're running a streak, right, and you're running a post route, I wonder just how much three excel really matters when it comes to how far down the field they actually are. Now, when it comes to agility, he's got a 90 agility compared to 95 for powered up Tyree Kill. Now, if we take a look here at the run blocking, 38 to 54 McCormick, apparently can't run block at all. But both these guys can kick return, so if you need a budget budget kick returner 78 spin 83 juke move yes Tyreek Hill obviously has the juke but you're looking at someone that's 60k versus someone that's 500,000 coins yeah I'd say Hardman's pretty underrated someone that I knew was instantly going to make this list as soon as I knew I was going to do this video is Steve Young he had to be on this list you guys know I use Steve Young literally up until two days ago i had the card since august and i hadn't gotten rid of the card at all since two days ago i picked up andrew luck that's crazy the card was incredible he has 81 speed 88 throw power 89 short with 89 medium 86 deep accuracy with an 89 throw under pressure 88 throw on the run and 87 play action the thing is with steve young you pick up this card uh you need to power him up of course to get it but once he's powered up he does get a skate artist which is like probably the best chemistry in the game. I mean, you can escape pressure and defensive linemen get in so quick this year. I feel like you kind of need escape artists and Steve Young is a monster. 83 accelerant as well. You guys know I legit use this card for 
months. It's very, very rare that I have one card on my team as the starter for months, especially with other quarterbacks coming out. Like we had Andrew Luck come out, we had Mike Vick come out, we had everybody come out. Didn't matter. I love the Steve Young card. And next up is going to be 86 overall Devin Bush. He's currently over 36,000 coins, and the man's got 88 speed with 89 Excel. That is better acceleration than Ryan Shazier, Mutt Captain, right now. And I've got Ryan Shazier maxed out as much as you can possibly get him up to in terms of getting the tokens, getting him up on overall. He's up to a 92. Devin Bush is still a little bit quicker. Now, of course, Black Shed's 69. His hit power is an 88, and his zone is actually not awful at a 75 which sounds bad but ray lewis has got 69 powered up so Devin Bush 75 actually is not that bad this card is very very good catching is a 57 as well his jumping is a 91 at 5 foot 11 i've actually got his rookie premiere card and some of you guys may have his rookie premiere as well this team with Devin Bush is really really underrated for 36,000 coins just like troy apke one of the better users in the game and no matter what i do i promise you Every single game that I face this DeMarcus Lawrence card, this much superstar DeMarcus Lawrence, he dominates me. I don't know what it is, but 89 overall DeMarcus Lawrence absolutely thrashes me every single time that I play this man. He's got 75 speed, 83 excel, 81 strength, 81 tackling, 88 play rank, 85 block shit with 85 power move. The man's got 92 finesse move and this is one of those cards that came out at the beginning of the year i this guy actually bought him in november but i believe he came out in august as well and demarcus lawrence is just an incredible card i don't know what it is but just every single game that i face him he gets like two or three sacks on me i, I literally don't know what it is but he's currently over 134,000 coins definitely worth it now, Joey Bosa is actually going for only 40,000 coins right now, and I almost feel like Joey Bosa is like, he's got to get a new card sometime soon. So honestly, if you guys want to pick up this Joey Bosa card and even power it up, I really don't think it's a bad idea because this guy's insane. 75 speed, 82 excel, 82 strength with 86 play rec. Now, he doesn't have the block shit that Demarcus Lawrence has, but he's got 91 finesse move as well. Joey Bosa is a very, very good card, and again, kind of just like D-Law, I will say D-Law to me is the better pass rusher obviously he's going for a lot more coins uh he is just insane joey bosa still dominates the well because he can get finesse specialist which is huge now when it comes to running backs if you're looking for a big bruising running back derrick henry's your guy and i'll say right now he's up for 220 but according to mud his average price is actually only 180k so it looks like right now he's just currently overpriced uh, but he's got 88 speed 87 excel 83 agility 96 carrying with 59 catch 76 elusiveness 88 trucking with an 85 break tackle and 84 strength now derrick henry also has got a stiff arm of 92 with 85 juke move but i'll tell you right now do not be fooled by only having 88 truck and 85 break tackle because I played this man in, I'm trying to think what video it was, I think it was my no money spent video that I just did recently in house rules. He was so tired, right? Derrick Henry was like tired where he just like hunched over and he still was breaking tackles and refused to fumble because the man's got 96 carrying. So Derrick Henry, uh, there's just a couple players every single year, they tend to get like completely right with their body type and how they play in general. Derrick Henry is that guy. He breaks so many tackles. It doesn't even matter what's tracking to break tackles. Put a bruiser cam on him. GG. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I personally have never used this card, and I don't really remember ever playing against this card, but when I asked over on Twitter for who you guys think should be on this list, Tredavious White was recommended a lot. So let's go ahead and take a look at Tredavious White's stats. Uh, he's got 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 88 agility, 77 jump, and he's got 91 play rank with 88 man, 87 zone, and 92 press. So I can definitely see why people think he's underrated. For 150k, if you have the right abilities on him, and maybe if you want to power him up, get some chems on him, you can get him above 90 man and 90 zone, which of course 90 is that threshold. Uh, he's got 88 speed, good acceleration at 90. His catching to 69, his tackling is actually a 70. Okay, jumping's kind of bad though. Uh, block shed is a 52, which is actually really good too. And the hit power is 64. That's a solid card. Definitely a pretty solid card. And in terms of cornerbacks, Tredavious White was on this list a lot, a lot of people recommended for me to put him on there. So my list is a top 10 list, but we're going to put an honorable mention as well. Honorable mention is going to be Jim Brown because Jim Brown was recommended a lot over on Twitter as well. But I decided to go with Derrick Henry over Jim Brown. But to me, the most underrated player, possibly the most underrated player in the game, is Saquon Barkley. He's currently going for 233,000 coins. The man has got 89 speed with a 90 acceleration. And to me, I'm going to tell you guys right now, 
I think Saquon is the best running back in the game. 89 speed, 90 excel, 93 agility, 92 carrying, 74 catching, 86 looseness, 80 trucking, and a 93 break tackle with 89 spin, 90 juke, 82 stiff arm for 230k and to me i faced every single running back in this entire game i faced every running back in this game no running back gives me more issues than saquon barkley i faced melvin gordon i faced bo jackson i faced clinton portis Le'Veon bell alvin kamar I faced all these guys zeke i have on my team saquon's better saquon is better than all these guys it doesn't matter if the stats say they're better saquon plays better than every running back in this game 100 he is the most underrated back in the game but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like on the video and of course hit that sub button down below comment down below some other players you'd like to see or some other players in general that you think are underrated and what other videos you guys like to see if you watched all the way to the end make sure you guys comment down below Let's think. I said Zerk Squad last yesterday, so I don't want to say Zerk Squad again. Let's go with Paper. Very random, very weird. We're going with Paper. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.